If you want to become someone, yes. you can. Did you ever see yourself getting here? You know, by in the way of your achievements, your accolades, your awards. So you started from nothing, but as you were, you know, going through your journey, did you ever imagine, was it ever in your mind that those, those uh, blessings, those gifts would be on your path? No, no. Uh, uh, normally you don't imagine of that nature. But okay. the point is that when you start growing and things fall at your, at your what you call it, at your doorstep, uh -huh. then you start thinking that, yes, people are noticing. Mm. And when I can say who I am, but it's the others who should say what I am. Yes. And that automatically moves uh, the, the other day when I was asked about my last award mm -hmm. I received of peace. Mm -hmm. I could not go to Philippines, Manila. Mm -hmm. So I sent my granddaughter, who is now at Harvard, to collect on my behalf. Uh, and an award of peace, world peace, is just something which is very, very rare. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was thinking that, hey, how many awards? And I was very surprised that approximately 140 awards to date. Wow. Plus, I've not counted how many doctors I've got. Yes. I've not counted how many chairmanship I have. <laughs> Those are different. Yes. But people who notice you from mm -hmm. outside, mm -hmm. to whom you even don't know. Yeah. And when they acknowledge you and say, well, that's a man I would like to really decorate. So to me, I think that it's up to us, really. And the determination of wanting to make it mm -hmm. is very important yes. in life. Yes. Yeah. So, so let's speak from that last sentence, the determination of wanting to make it. So, earlier on you said you started from nothing. Could you please paint that nothing picture for us? Well, uh, my, my, my father went for three vernacular. He could not speak, read or write English. My mother was illiterate. Mm. And my two elder brothers, one had gone up to senior, uh, not completed primary education, yeah. another just reached up to senior Cambridge, but did not complete. Now, in that condition, did I have any chance that we will be any different than them? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, obviously, from my father, my brother was, at least can speak, read, write English. He can converse. He can be somebody who wants to, at some feel, feeling that he can become someone. Yeah. But the point is that there is no timetable and there is no position which is earmarked that, no, I, it's what you want to be. Mm. If you want to be someone, then you got to be at it. And to me, I have seen that my life from almost nothing and slowly and slowly built up both the education-wise, both my work-wise, yeah. both my uh, influence, both my social work, it all gave a, one after the other a boost and to keep up with it. Mm -hmm. uh, many a times it's very difficult, but when you're at it, there's no way of looking back. Mm -mm. Just want at it. Yeah. Go at it. Yeah. And I think you can, you can. And this is a classical example mm -hmm. from nothing to something. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So the struggle when you were starting out, what was that like? And at what point did you know something has turned? Because, you know, it's, it's like the way an aeroplane is taxiing and then now it takes off. So there's a lot of work here. But then at some point it turns. What was that for you? You see, what happened is that uh, uh, 
in our early life, uh, the Second World War started. Mm -hmm. And it was when I was about 10 or 11 years old. Okay. And that made quite a bit of the Asian families worried because there was an agreement between Germany and Italy and they signed a pact. Mm -hmm. And the idea was to conquer Africa from Somalia. So uh, the Asian community was really panicked. And we were all sent out to India, except our, well, our older people went away to India, women went away to India, and children went away to India. Yeah. And the able-bodied people continued our business here. Yeah. Now that totally gave an opening of completely new idea, new thought. I still remember when I reached mm -hmm. Mumbai in the boat, what we had seen in Kenya was one or two two-story buildings. Okay. And the minute the ship was coming nearby, you could see tall buildings, big boulevards. As we went nearby, as we went closer, we started looking at it, the double-decker buses running, house, big houses. And then we looked at the people who looked just like us, mm. just like me. And it just, the first challenge hit us. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's the difference between them and us? We look same. There must be something which we don't have, we don't know. And that made us very clearly a, a major challenge in life. Hey, if this can happen here, then why it cannot happen with us? And then we went from there to first time to London to go to New York to study. And what is so in London? Again, shook our head. Hey, my God, where are we living? Where is Kenya? Where is India? Where is UK? And the day when we landed in New York and in 63rd floor hotel, at the time limit was very different, get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and see, my God, what is there with these people that we don't have it? Yeah. And that challenges, continuous challenges, hey, it's up to us. Yeah. They're no different than us. Maybe they're whiter mm. and they're brown. But then, what happened to India? How come that's the 10th story, 12th story buildings, that tram running, that car running, all over the place? So what's wrong with us? Yeah. And so, it made us to believe that it's human endeavor, human effort, determination, that yes, I want to be someone. The journey is never easy. Every step you take, there will be an endurance. Because it's going up on the mountain. And as the air goes less and less with oxygen, the amount of stress that you have to really put